A man called me this week and said, I'm from Bethany, Delaware, and I've got one of these darn residential sprinkler systems, and I need it inspected. And I said, we can do that. I said, but first I'd like to talk with you a little bit about why you feel the way that you do. He said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, obviously, you know, you, you don't like the system. For what reason? He said, well, what's worse, fire or water? And I said, oh, we do need to talk. I said, to tell you, to kind of characterize that right off the, the, right off the hip is it's the difference between a pile of ashes and a puddle of water. There have been fires in those properties, and Water Mist has, has successfully put the fires out uh, with very little bit of water usage. Uh, and and uh, we're, we're excited about uh, what goes on as far as Water Mist is concerned. Uh, if we have a fire in a room, that room is taken out of service maybe for 24 hours. The rest of the rooms are not uh, inhibited at all, and, and uh, the rest of the rooms can be rented or keep, keep renting those rooms around the clock. Imagine that you're, uh, that you're uh, sitting at a table right here right now, and I have a candle on this table. And that candle all by itself uh, sheds light and illumination, but a little bit of heat, not very much. But let's take that candle and tip it over the edge of the table and it falls in a pile of a trash can. And then that trash can starts catching on fire uh, and starts uh, developing flame and then there's smoke. And then that sets the draperies on fire on the wall. See, fire growth and development is an evolutionary process that at some point in time, a teacup of water will stop a conflagration. And that was the analogy I used in the book was that a small amount of water in the first 30 seconds of a fire is worth tens of thousands of gallons an hour later. And the whole idea is to use the minimum amount of water to, to get the fire when it's the smallest possible size. Water mist significantly reduces the amount of water that we need. And because of the way it works, it significantly reduces the collateral water damage. So it's starting to address those issues uh, that were with the residential standards and the, with the low pressure uh, water mist systems. The beauty of those is that they use readily, ordinarily available piping materials, um, copper, galvanized, or plastic, uh, rather than having to use uh, stainless steel high pressure piping. So again, the technology continues to evolve. These new uh, LOFO, low pressure water mist systems the amount of water that we need is significantly reduced, uh, about 85%. Well, if you do the math, if I start off with about 300 gallons of water, reduce that by 85%, I am essentially down to a tank the size of a water heater somewhere within the structure, which is very easy to accommodate. Basically, another closet. Underwriters Laboratories did some very interesting tests where they constructed two burn cells uh, that replicated a living room. And one of those was what we refer to as the modern room, which had modern furnishing, furnishings at modern outlets, uh, which reflect what we build furnishes out of today, a lot of synthetic materials, polyurethane foams, etc. The other burn cell or other living room was what they called the legacy room, which I jokingly refer to as grandma's living room. And in grandma's living room, what they equipped that with was furniture, carpet, drapes, etc., that were consistent with um, the 1950s, maybe a little bit into the early 1960s. Both of those rooms were ignited in the same way, a candle in the end of the, in the sofa. In the modern living room, that room went to full involvement or flashover in just a little under four minutes, which is what we typically see today. Grandma's living room, nearly 30 minutes before that room transitioned to flashover. So that, that fire growth is much quicker today. That, that heat release rate is much, much more rapid. So the environment deteriorates much more quickly. And if we couple that with the concerns over lightweight construction, we end up with an environment that is jeopardizing the occupants much quicker and because of the lightweight construction issues creates firefighter safety issues. So what we need to do is to provide a way to control that fire event. The smoke alarm will give you early warning, but it won't do anything to control the event. Through the application of water, 
through a water mist system. We're able to control the effects of that fire early on, which means that we keep the temperatures uh, at a level where they're not hazardous. We also keep the production of carbon monoxide, or CO, uh, very low, so the environment is not toxic. And because the fire is suppressed early, the level of oxygen in the room is also kept uh, almost unchanged, so therefore the environment stays what we call tenable. Therefore, we're increasing the amount of time that the occupant has to safely escape. Um, if it protects the structure, as kind of a side note, that's kind of gravy. Uh, but our primary purpose is give the occupant additional time to safely escape.